Uh, it's a little rough today. Got to shoot quad tags. Shoot, yeah. You know, there's too much cover over here. Give him a little time. Oh, give, give him a little time. Bring him Playing well, timber. We're gonna have to cut. I can't do this. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I'll tell you, spinner bait wouldn't be half bad up through here. I'm pretty freaking good if I do say so myself. Uh, I'm pitch that jig back over there. Oh shoot, yeah. oh, you might get one on that cover. Yeah. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. You think there's one? This spot looks like glass back here. Though. Smooth sailing. Smooth sailing. Oh shoot. Okay. That's another boater. Hey buddy! Hey, what's going on? Hey! Catching any? No? Yep. About the same here. Oh shoot. Hold on. I think I got some. I think. Oh. There's something biting this thing. What do you got? Oh shoot! Oh, oh shoot! <laughs> <laughs> That's a big one! Oh! Hold up, get the net, get the net! Get, get, get the net! No! Oh, poor man! Shoot! No! Man, he's gonna pull us in! We're gonna need a bigger boat, buddy. All right, here I am with my main guys, Eli and Charlie from the Lafayette Bass Fishing Team. Man, that fish y'all hooked into, where was that at? That was down at Cedar Creek. Holy I mean, crap. I don't think we can tell them the exact spot. Okay, no. Oh, uh, well, okay. you can't, right, you can't be known. So I've got my guys here from the uh, Bass Fishing Team. We're going to talk a little bit about bass fishing and just kind of give you an idea of what the uh, Lafayette Bass Fishing Team does. And so just if uh, a couple questions for you guys, if one of you. So tell me, just tell me a little bit about the Bass Fishing Team. Who wants to go? All right, so, you go get the first question. Bass team, it's pretty much um, starting out, getting pretty big nowadays. It's um, it's a group of fishermen of high schoolers that fish for a high school team, and pretty much it's two people for a boat, and then they have a captain. Ahoy there, the boat matey! Out has to be 17 foot long. Go out, you fish a high school tournament, and then it's pretty much like any other varsity sport. You know, you have your um, qualifications for state. You can, okay. you can um, go to finals, all that stuff, win finals. It is the kind of thing I would have done in high school. Uh, there were two things I did a lot when I was your age, hunting and fishing. Your combo. And, <laughs> your combo. And so I would have I would have loved it. So, how, Charlie, how's a, uh, how do, I mean, how's a tournament scored? How do you know who gets what? All righty, so you go out and um, go out in waves so some boats okay. leave at like seven o'clock first light whenever you can get out they go ahead and go you'll go out seven o'clock you'll fish for seven hours you'll come back and weigh in your fish you get to keep the five heaviest weighted fish you catch it out of the day you know you can call them you take a fish out if one's bigger then you can swap them out and have that highest five so so what happens to the fish that you don't keep that we don't keep yeah just throw them back in the water oh okay they all right oh yeah oh yeah we're good to go all right and uh we just come back at the end of the day we uh we make sure the fish are, you know, healthy and good to weigh, and if they're not healthy enough, they won't weigh them. Oh, okay. And so you got a floater. He's you're not weighing. Yeah, him. no, you'll get you'll get a penalty. <laughs> it won't it won't be good. Okay. Well, and what do they what do they do with the fish at the end? At the end, they just um, they set designated spots out in the lake. Okay. And they'll they'll close it off like the week before, make sure nobody goes in there, and then as soon as the tournament's done, they will take all the fish that were caught and they'll put them back down in the, in the okay. ecosystem. So they release them all and they're, it's all, they're all good to go for the next tournament. Yeah, yeah they're <laughs> perfect right. to be caught again. All right, good deal. Well, Eli questioned you, so what's the difference between uh, tournament fishing and recreational fishing, other than scoring? So pretty much um, tournament fishing, it's only geared towards bass, really, at least for our league. Um, it's largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, spotted bass. Um, there really is no other fish in the tournament that we can mess with. Okay. Um, for the most part, Recreational fishing is just like, you know, me, you, Charlie, going out, having a good time. Whatever time, doesn't have to be a specific time to go in, come back. Um, we don't we don't necessarily go for a prize or necessarily go to win something. Um, tournaments, 
it can vary in species. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of catfish tournaments. Oh, on really? Things called pay lakes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Pay lakes. You know, you pay to get in. You can fish for like the biggest fish. Fish for the most fish you can catch. You can do um, redfish tournaments down on the Gulf. You know, around Tampa and like, Florida. Like snapper. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Then you can um, you can do um, drum, red drum, big tournament fish in Florida. So where do where for recreational fishing? Where do people in Fayette County go? Um, the Elkhorn's a big spot, Elkhorn Creek. Okay, yeah. Big runs through um, Frankfurt. The there's a um, there's a north. A lot of smallmouth spotted yeah. in there. Oh yeah, okay. oh yeah. A lot of smallmouth, a lot of spots, a little bit of largemouth, a lot of red eyes, bluegill, okay. sunfish. Okay. Well, so so let me ask you all guys this: What is uh, one of your? I'll start with Charlie. What is one of your best fishing memories ever? Well, um, here recently actually, we okay. went out and uh, on our first tournament out on the water. We, uh, we so went out so we what Cumberland. year? So was this last year? Your this last year. Okay. Yeah. We fished Cumberland. We sat. We fished it. We fished it. Probably out there for two and a half hours, three hours, freezing cold. <laughs> and me and Elijah aren't catching anything at all. So I decided to tie on a bait. My dad had when he was younger. And, you know, just give her a little try. So we're we talking an antique fishing. Yeah, probably a thirty-year-old bait. And <laughs> sure that's, an old, enough, that's an old worm. Like within <laughs> two to three casts, I caught two two-pound bass. Just like that. Nice. Out of all day fishing. I mean, they weren't the biggest fish. I, right. You know, but it was cool, you know, to catch something. Not catch anything all day and catch something on something my dad used me to catch. So e- really Eli, fun. what about you? What was one of your best fishing memories ever? Probably one of my favorite memories was when me, Charlie, and my buddy David took a trip up to Bracken County in northern Kentucky. I have a farm up there. And we were doing a little bit of work before we started fishing. So I'm finishing up. Turns out I dropped a hand, dropped the knife. Cut my hand open, ah! saw my bone, and passed out. So, oh, when was well, this? This was um, September of last year. So you, you dropped it and you were grabbing it as it was falling. Yeah. You know, there's an expression, and, and literally this is an actual expression, don't catch a falling knife. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> yeah, right, right. I mean, so You're not anyway. always thinking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so pretty much cut my hand, passed out, woke back up, thankfully, went to the hospital, got six stitches in my hand. All right. This ain't stopping me. So, came back. Okay, you're a dedicated big... fisherman. Oh, you're yeah. going back out. Oh, okay. yeah, you know it. Yeah. So, bandaged up, hop in a canoe. Doctor said you, you're allowed to do anything, but one thing you can't do is get near water. Get, get you. <laughs> of, course, of course, I get in a canoe and start fishing like normal. Him and my buddy are in a john boat fishing, tearing them up, having a good time. So, came back, caught about 25 bass in under an hour. Wow. Big ones, too. So. Throw them back, eat them, what'd you do? Uh, we threw them back. Threw them all back. Threw them back. Okay. What's your favorite fish to eat, Charlie? What's your favorite um, fish to eat? Either bluegill or crappie. I yeah, do like yeah. a good bluegill. What about you? Probably crappie or walleye. Oh, yeah. Walleye is considered like more of a delicacy. Yes, sir. Yeah. It's hard mm-hmm. to find around. I mean, you could fish it around here, but you can't get in restaurants too too often. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Well, I got a little fishing gear. Oh, really? really? Yeah. So, mm. I haven't been fishing in a long time, though. Would you professionals like to take a look at it and give me some feedback? I'll be it if you're twisting my arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll get I'll right go back. get it. Be right back. All right. So I don't uh, think I don't think I've changed this lure out since the fish I caught. I mean, lion's all fried here. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, I like. I don't think I've been fishing for about six years. The fast. last time I went fishing, I caught a really nice catfish on this spinner. Really. Yes, I took my daughter uh, camping up in Pendleton County at Lake Kincaid. She was still asleep. I went out to the lake, mm-hmm. barely after sunrise, hooked this thing, and I was thinking, wow, this is a big bass. And it was about a six-pound catfish. Shoot. Wow. Tasted terrible. It was, <laughs> it was tough. All right, well, let's go ahead and evaluate the rig here. Let's see what we got. What do y'all think? Give me some. Give me a score. Yeah, clear, what, would you, what, would you, what would you rate me here? We got a Berkeley rod. Cherry wood. I have one of those. Garcia Rio. No, I, that's pretty nice setup. Right. Say something I like the ultralight. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You can do this for all kinds of things. Oh, yeah. Cherry Wood's a good rod until Cooler with Wheels runs over it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Two piece, can't beat it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. All right, now let's check the tackle box. All, all right. right, here we go. Put her down. Oh, baby. All right, let's see what we got here. We got a variety of stuff because you just never know, right? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Got to like be a Boy Scout. Always be prepared. All right. All right. So, you can pull anything out. Frog. Yeah, okay. you just pull right. whatever out, comment. It don't matter. like the white frog. Okay. White frog's good in the middle of summer. Fishing real thick lily pads, moss, algae, stuff like that. I am probably the world's worst fisherman. <laughs> I have no idea what to use when. Well, typically. 
Kind of can we just admire this? I think it's just. I think it was just some place to put the uh, weights. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was just. They were loose weights, and I think I, I just making sure I didn't the line. Oh, a little lake floater, actually. Yeah, yeah. Now when I was, uh, I used to have a friend at Tommy when I was in high school. We, he used to take me to pay lakes all the time. Him and his dad would go, and I'd tag along. Oh shoot! <laughs> little surface. Little oh bait. baby, this isn't just normal. Isn't that? This is called a Johnston Silver. That's a Johnston Silver Minnow. Is it's that a, good? My dad swears by Johnston Silver Minnow. <laughs> Well, how do you, okay, well then in that case, tell me how do you, how do you create the action on that? What do you need to do with it? I'll let Charlie explain. It runs right. in the blood. Yeah, it, right, it okay. runs in the blood. So what you're going to do is you're just going to tie it on to, right. let's say, you know, just any reel, spinning reel preferably. Um, let me see if you have any of the right bits here. Probably not. Hold on. Sorry guys for blocking this here. Um, I will say not. No, no, he doesn't have the right stuff. But, where'd you put the minnow? Right here. Oh, okay, let's hide from you. So you're just gonna tie it onto the end like you know a normal bait, right? And you can get a little grub that looks right, 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 right. I actually, looks something I think, like I, this I, think I got some of those somewhere actually. Or it's not something a like that. It's, it's with a grub a, with a flip tail. It's grub a, with yeah, a flip yeah, tail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you put that on the bottom of this. You just tie it on. And you just do a little, little jerk and action. You see, I've never, I've never it. added the grub on the end. I just use it like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> it shows what I know, right? I mean, it's the same presentation as like a a spinner bait. You know, just the reflective makes it look like a bait fish. Right, 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 right. So. Yeah, it's so good bait. so. When does uh, when is uh, bass fishing season? How do y'all work it? So, are you saying when's like the best time to catch them? No. When do or? you? When is the turn? When does uh, the competition take place? Fall, spring? Well, the what the, seasons? What months? Like the annual school competition starts around March. Okay. And then March pretty much can qualify you for a national tournament. Okay. So you can go and skip pretty much everything and go straight to nationals. On the other hand, around April starts your qualifying tournament for state you know just like band just like football so anyways you fish this tournament and if you place first you'll qualify to the next tournament and then you go to semifinals, and then eventually you'll hit finals and fish the um the final tournament for state on um land between the lakes oh um, kentucky nice. lake okay yep. mm -hmm. and that's a that's a Huge lake to fish, really good lake yeah, to fish, yeah. big bass. Actually, used to go hunting down there. I <laughs> never fished down there, but I used to hunt all the time down <laughs> Lampley Lakes. There you go. All right, guys. Well, I want to thank y'all for turning in to do uh, to hear about our bass fishing team. I will say, if you are interested in the bass fishing team, they need members with boats. So if you got a boat, certainly think about uh, hooking up with the bass fishing team. And other than that, when spring curls around, we'll be rooting for you guys, all right, bringing sir. home some trophies. Yes, all right, sir, you know, Mr. good to see you guys. Hey guys, I want you to leave your best fishing memory down in the comments down below. If you got any fishing memory at all from your life, go ahead and put it in the comments down below and uh, we'll just, we're just gonna have a good time with it. We'll yes, see sir. you, thanks for watching. We're gonna have to cut, I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't. I mean, I laughed I'll, the I'll whole scene, whole Mr. Thing. Royster. <laughs> Boys, a little less emphasis on the squat now, okay. all right? <laughs> Mr. Royster's oh. the one's making me laugh. Oh, okay. That's a wrap. Hey there, General Nation. I just want to truly thank you for the many positive comments I've received. So many from parents, from teachers, and from you too, students as well. I truly appreciate it. I'm using this channel to promote Lafayette High School. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Share this video. Let's go ahead and spread the word about the great things we're doing here at Lafayette High School. Now check out this video right over here. I think you're going to like it because I picked it out just for you. Now, YouTube has picked a mystery video. I have no idea what it is, but it's right down here, and I think you're going to like it as well. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.